Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a server that runs Spigot 1.14. So the first thing you go to is a browser. Go to getbugget.org. There will be a link in the description and I will be downloading the Spigot version. So just down here. Uh, don't click on any of these. You might have a lot more ads but I have ad blocker on just so I don't get demonetized for any weird stuff that will be here but just let that go and while that is downloading I can go ahead and create a new folder which is going to be called spigot 1.14 and while that we can go over to the Minecraft. This is not necessary if you already have a normal server. You can just go ahead and use the start code for that. For that, but I am just going to go down here and copy this because it's much easier. And we are still just waiting for this down here. It should be finished in a short amount of time. While that is doing its thing, we can go into our folder here and just go under um, add a new text file in it call it whatever and copy this this one in as you can see it's called spigot now it's done actually so we can just drag and drop this into the folder um, but it's called spigot 1.14 or dash 1.14 so I'm just gonna delete the Minecraft server part and types bigot dash 1.14.jar and we are gonna be changing this max to two point no two thousand eight and eighty forty eight megabytes save that as a run dot bat and you need to change this to all files and let's click save that will create a new file you can delete the, the gibberish one up here and just double test double click this it should just close immediately and that's normal uh, I've seen questions about why it's, it's doing that because um, sometimes you don't even need to run this first you just need to run the the, the jar file and that can confuse a lot of people as you can see just by running this normally without the this uh, command prompt it will start just fine you need to open this then and edit it with whatever text editing program you like and change the faults to true at least you need to read this that's a joke you don't need to <laughs> I don't I haven't even so just change that to true save it and then now I can use this to run it mm, maybe not uh, just run it with a normal jar file and this will we will need to start it up when all the files are here so now it's just creating a world uh, doing normal stuff in the background as you can see and just click allow access to the network prompt so you actually can use your network and now we can use the run file hopefully is it even starting up the right thing maybe I typed something wrong oh okay so it wasn't done creating stuff it will probably still creating the world I guess yeah okay so now it should work maybe well, while, it, while that's loading, I can go into my Minecraft, the DXE. I'm actually going to change the, the port. You don't have to do this if it's your own server, but I got a lot of servers, so just to keep, um, keep them in memory, I, I need to change this. So I'm just going to change this to uh, 75. 
and then just save that. Just gonna open my Minecraft here. And you should actually be able to run all your your normal plugins like yeah okay so it crashed again I don't know um I think it should work or it's probably still working yeah in, in the background here let let us see if it works I'm just gonna boot into localhost see if it actually boots okay it wasn't booted. So this may occur, um, if this occurs you can go into um, the file and add a, a pause down here so we can see what's wrong. Um, so as you can see it just says uh, couldn't reserve enough space. I have had this issue, um, let me see if I can resolve that. As you can see, um, well, it worked now. Uh, I just need to get it to work without the MC server soft. I don't think it like matters that it's that. I just have a feeling that I didn't let it run enough because 1.14 is a lot harder uh, to run on your system, uh, not just the client but also servers. So I have a feeling that if I leave it running for some time, as you can see, it took like um, 100 seconds just to create all the terrain and stuff. So I will try to do that and, and then uh, get back to you when I fix the, the virtualization problem and stuff. As you can see now, it popped up here. Um, so this is actually, I just have, uh, I don't have any like command prompt or anything. So this is just running in the background of my PC right now. But it is working, I don't have any MC server soft running at all. Uh, I, Thing it's still creating some terrain because I, as you can see, I can't really load it yet. Um, it's trying to load though. So as you can see here, the this is the 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 server running and just when when it's booting up, just oh shit, uh, make sure that this is uh, like it's okay if it's using a lot of your CPU power and a lot of your RAM because it's making the terrain. So that is what you want to look for, not the one in like the open tabs, but you know under. But I'm gonna close it now because I'm pretty sure that it is done. And okay, so it still has that virtualization problem for some weird reason. Um, but uh, let me try to fix that. I'm not sure guys if this is even going to work, so I'm just going to finish this video up by using MC Service Soft and put a link to it, but I'm going to probably do a full tutorial. This was just a quick overview of like why this program is so much better than using the other thing, because it just works. It I never fail them on me. So, yeah, if you need to run a server, use this program. It's much better. Also, it's just so easy to manage because you have your different tabs of servers up here, so... Like, and... Easy, nice, big buttons that you know what to do when you click on them, and... So, yeah. I like it a lot, and I'm a supporter of, of it. So go ahead and check that out. Now we're just waiting for the last stuff to finish up. You see, encrypting, and it worked. Like, it's just so flawless. And you can see here that if I do, for example, say, without any slash, say, I, it will come up on the server, as the server said it. So I can also just up myself here. Um, Like that, and now I'm an operator, and I can do similar stuff. And a lot of the plugins from 
uh, a lot of plugins for 1.13 and I watched most of them from 1.13 should work some older versions probably work as well but just keep in mind that I'll, a lot of new items have been added and a lot of old stuff has been reworked so Minecraft has changed but I think it's for the better but yeah but the server works and I'm so happy that they all like soon as this has has already made a spigot version so I know it took a lot of time to make this video so if you appreciated it go ahead and down like and subscribe that would help me out thank you goodbye